Traditionally, a lot of curly haired gals will straighten their hair for their wedding day. Today on my friend Yashana, I'm gonna show you a beautiful half up, half down hairstyle with Yashana's naturally curly hair. I'm using a wide tooth tail comb to create my section. I'm using this comb so that I don't interrupt Yashana's curl pattern too much. I want the ponytail to sit right on top of Yashana's head. So I am breaking through just a wee bit in order to create a section that's gonna go from ear to ear. I've already gone ahead and prepped Yashana's hair with a little bit of styling cream and let her hair air dry. Once I have the top section sectioned away, I'm going to clip the back out of the way so it's easier for me to tie a clean ponytail. Now I'm going to gather all of the hair to the top of the head. I'm using a little bit of leave-in conditioner just to help smooth and hydrate Yashana's hair. Using my grooming brush, I'm able to comb everything into my hand on top of Yashana's head. Don't worry if it looks a little bit frizzy, it's the placement that's going to matter the most. I like to use elastic cord to help tie the hair. I use elastic cord because it allows me to keep my fist really tight to the head so that the hair won't look lumpy underneath. You'll notice in numerous videos that I use this technique a lot. Now to prepare to cover the elastic. I'm using a small curling iron smaller than the diameter of the ponytail. Now I'm going to coil the hair around the iron to make sure that it gets nice and hot. And once it's nice and hot, I'm going to place a clip to hold it in place so that it cools. It's important that you have this piece cool fully before you wrap it around the base of the ponytail or else it'll stretch out. Now I'm gonna go through and define the rest of Yashana's curl. Using the same product, which is a leave-in conditioner with a little bit of heat protector, I'm just going to use my hands to make sure that there's no sort of unwanted frizz or a texture that doesn't look as smooth as I want it to. Depending on the hair type that you're working with, you may want to change your product. I prefer a spray because it's easier to apply. I like to use a diffuser on low heat and low power. This way the curl doesn't get frizzy and unnecessarily bigger than what we're trying to achieve. Be patient with your diffusing. You also don't want to touch the hair too much to make it fluffier than what you want. Now that Yushana's hair is dry, I just want to shake it out to make sure that we still have beautiful coils. Now on to the top section. I'm going to use my edge brush and a little bit of edge cream and I'm going to apply a generous amount of product all along the edges. I find that this really smooths everything down and with the toothbrush edge of my edge brush I can really get all of that product in there. Whatever doesn't get quite down to the surface I'm going to use the comb side of my brush. Now I'm going to unclip and grab that piece that I've curled and wrap it around the base of the ponytail. Because the diameter was smaller, it's easier for the hair to really hold on. For extra security, however, I am going to use a little bit of hairspray to help hold in place. I like to usually just place this on my finger so that I can get right in there and use control. 
If you feel like you need to, you can always grab a tiny bobby pin for extra security. Now I'm going to break apart the ponytail and apply the same styling product. Beautiful leave-in conditioner that adds a lot of shine. I find by breaking everything down, it makes it easier to diffuse and really just create a hairstyle that's simple. For any little piece that didn't curl exactly how I want, then I'm going to use that same curling iron that I used at the base of the ponytail just to define each curl. You can do this all over the head or just in parts that you find need extra refinement. To add a little bit of sparkle, I'm using my Cubic Zirconia Swirls. I love using these in hard to pin places. For this style, I've decided to pin them all along the top of the head, but why don't you tell me in the comments below where you like to pin them? If you feel like your natural curl is not formal enough, this half up, half down hairstyle is perfect for you. 